It's interesting, you know, I've been, I've been at this, uh, this type of work since 1998. What is, how many years is that? Quite a few, <laughs> almost 30 years. And so um, there was a time where I was emotionally detached, where I wasn't feeling anything. I didn't feel happy. I didn't feel loved. I didn't feel joy. And then joy started to bubble up from out of nowhere. It was just like, what, what is that? I'm feeling happy for no reason. Causeless joy, it is coming from the God within. It is an amazing thing to feel that. So have you ever felt causeless joy? That's, that's an amazing experience. All right, so if you are emotionally detached, you may feel numb. You may have a difficult time identifying what you feel. You may have a hard time expressing yourself. You may self-isolate. You may have difficulty having commitments. Somebody invites you somewhere. You go, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I can't commit. You don't even know what you want. So, and and that's a problem. <laughs> Can you imagine why that might be a problem if you don't know what you want? Why might that be a problem? Anybody? How about your ability to manifest? Because if you're all over the map and you don't know what you want, the universe can't bring it to you. The universe is going to go on to the next person that is, you know, oh, I want two homes. I want a home in Ohio and a condo in Colorado. And I want to be able to see my family at maximum capacity, no room for anything new. Well, that, okay, that could be, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're, you're up to the top with life and you cannot, exp yeah, okay, that, that's a good reason. Dealing with life can be challenging, especially right now, right? All right, so a couple of other things. You might self-isolate. You may have a hard time expressing yourself to other people. You may not know what you feel. And of course, self-isolation can cause more issues 